Hello everyone, welcome back and today we are looking at question 3 which is longest substring without repeating characters. So we are given string s and from the name we want to find the length of the longest substring without repeating characters. So let's look at example 1. They are saying that the string s equals the following and the length of the longest substring without repeating characters is 3. Now why? They are saying that the answer is a, b, c with length 3. So if we look, we can see, okay, we have an a, we have a b, we have a c, and now when we go, we find another a, which is a duplicate, right? So a, b, c is of length 3. Now let's keep looking. If we have b, c, a, b, well, b is a duplicate, so we have b, c, a of length 3. Same thing with C, A, B, C. So C, A, B is of length 3. But they are saying they just picked A, B, C and they said the length is 3. But the idea is the maximum length of a substring without any repeating characters is 3. Okay, so we will go to the blackboard. We will explain exactly how can we do this. Explain the approach, the intuition, then come back here and code the solution out. That sound interesting? Let's get straight into it. Okay, so here we are the blackboard and let's see how can we do this. First things first, if we want to return the length of the longest substring without repeating characters, we need a way to keep track of the longest substring that we're looking at, right? We need a variable to hold the maximum length that we will return. So for that, let's create a variable and call it max from maximum length. Now initially, we don't know what substrings do we have, etc. So let's initialize it with the value zero. Okay, so now, how can we check what is the longest length? A brute force approach would look like the following, right? We will check all possible combinations of substrings that generate from each character, and we will pick the longest substring. Let's have a look. Let's start at the character A. What is the substring that this A has? Well, we only have one character, which is A, and we see that the length of this substring is one. We said that the maximum is zero, so we can update this zero to a one. Okay, so now let's continue. We have A, but we can also have A, B. The length is two, we can update, but we can have A, B, C. The length is three, but now let's look what happens now. Well, we want the longest substring without repeating characters. If we try to go here for a, b, c, a, yes, the length is 4, but we have a duplicate, and we cannot have that. And now let me ask you this, is there any point of checking the rest of these um, substrings that generate from a, for instance, a, b, c, a, b, or a, b, c, a, b, c, etc. All of the rest of these substrings have this duplicate. And we cannot do that. We will waste a lot of time uh, because we know none of them would work because they have a duplicate. So, okay, so what should we do? Hmm. Well, the best way to do this is sliding window technique. Since it's a sliding window, we will have the left side of the window, we will have the right side of the window, and the substring in this window would be a substring without repeating characters. Let me show you how we will apply this technique to this problem, okay? So we have the left side of the window and we have the right side of the window. We are pointing to the A, right? Okay, so we have A of length 1, we update the max to A1. So now we widen up the window from A to B. So the left side of the window is pointing to A, the right side of the window is pointing to B. Okay, so we have a, b, the length is 2, so we can update the max again. Let's widen up the window one more time. We have a c. Good. So, okay, so we have 3, and now here we add. We widen up the window to another a. Do we ask, hmm, does our window contain duplicates? The answer is yes. So what should we do? Well, we shrink the window. Now our window contains b, c, a. Do we have any duplicates? No. So now we widen up the window one more time. We see that we have another duplicate, so we shrink the window again. C, A, B, no duplicates, widen up the window, 
we have C, A, B, C, we shrink out the window, and so on, so forth. Okay, so now we see that we will be using sliding window. But we have another problem that we need to look at. Well, each time I say, hey, do we have a duplicate in our window? For instance, when we were here, we said, okay, do we have a duplicate? And we said, yes, we have an extra A. But how can we answer this question? Do we have a duplicate? We want yes, we have a duplicate, or no, we do not. We need something fast to answer our question. In this case, we will use a hash set. Well, why we will use a hash set? The main functions of the hash set, for instance, adding, removing, checking if there is something in the hash set, and getting the size of the hash set, all of them run in big O of one time, constant time. It's extremely fast. So we can use this to our advantage, okay? We said our window will have substrings with no repeating characters, okay? So we can store the values of that window into the hash set, and each time we check a new character, we ask the hash set, hey, is this character in the elements of our window? If the hash set says yes, well, we have a duplicate and we need to shrink the left side of the window. If the hash set says no, we don't have a duplicate. Well, we add that element to the hash set and we widen up the window. So let's see how can we do this um, using the hash set sliding window technique. So basically one, we will be using sliding window. Our window will contain substring without repeating characters. We will be using a hash set because it's extremely fast. The lookup is constant and our hash set will contain the elements of our window each time we find a new character we will ask the hash set does our window contain a duplicate if it says no we add the new character we expand the window if the hash set says yes well we have a duplicate and we shrink out the window let's try to do the problem now we have our window here's the left side of it and here's the right side of it we have an a does our hash set contain A? The answer is no. So we add this A to the hash set. Now we have a window of length one. Our max is zero, but now our new window has length one. We update the max to a one, and now we expand the window. Now we have A, B. Okay, hash set, do we have a B? The hash, the hash set says no. We add a B to the hash set. We compare. Our maximum length is 1, but the length of our new window is 2, so we update this one to a 2. Our length now is 2. One more time, we expand the window. You see, each time we add to the hash set, we expand the window. Now we have a C. Do we have a C in the hash set? The answer is no. We put a C, and now our length will be incremented to 3. So now let's have a look. We expand the window we find an A and we ask the hash set. Hey hash set, do we have an A in our window? The hash set looks and it says, yes, we have a duplicate. So now what? Well, we said we need to shrink the window, okay? But what does this mean? This means that we are disregarding this A. Well, we need to reflect that change in the hash set, okay? If we have a duplicate in the a, on the A, the A is duplicate, we look, the left side of the window is pointing to the A, which means we will remove the A and we shrink the window and you see that the right side of the window stayed in its place right we did not widen anything we only shrunk the window but now you see our window is missing the a well that's fine we ask again hey do we have an a in the hash set the hash set looks it says no now we add the a and we see that our length is three three and three are the same and now since we add it to the hash set we widen up the window and now we ask, okay, we have a B, do we have a B in the window? The hash set says, yes, we have a duplicate. Okay, the left side of our window is pointing to B, which means this B will be removed, our window will be shrunk down, and now we have C, A, B. Again, right side of the window stayed in its place. Now we need to ask, do we have a B in the hash set? Hash set says no, we take this B, we add it to the hash set, and now we need to compare the size. Now, in the comparing the size, well, you saw we always compare the maximum with the length of our new window. 
But let me ask you, what is the length of our window? It's the same thing as the size of our hash set, right? So basically, the max is equal to math.max or the maximum between our max so far and the size of the hash set. Let's say our hash set is called set, set dot size, right? In this case, the maximum so far is three and the size of the hash set is also three. The maximum is the same. We do not do anything. Okay, so now let's continue. Since we added the B, we need to open up and widen up the window. So, so now we go to the C. Do we have a C in the hash set? And the answer is yes. The left side of the window is pointing to the C. We remove the C, we shrunk down the window. Okay, now we ask again. Since the right side stayed in its place, do we have a C in the hash set? No. So now we add the C, we compare the size three, it's the same three. Now we widen up the window. Now this, this one is important. Let's have a look at this one. Do we have a B in our window? The hash set says yes. The left pointer is pointing to the A, which means we need to remove the A and now we need to shrink the window. Now we ask again, do we have a B in the window? The hash set says yes. Okay, the left side of the window is pointing to B, which means remove the B and shrink down the window again. Now we ask, does our hash set contain a B? The answer is no. So now we add the B. We compare the size. Well, this set.size is 2, our maximum is 3. We do not update the size. And now since we add it to the hash set, we widen up the window. Do we have a B in the hash set? The answer is yes. Our left side is pointing to the C. Remove the C, advance here. Do we have a B in the hash set? The answer is yes, which means we need to remove the B and now we advance the left side. Okay, and now finally we ask again, do we have a B in the hash set? The answer is no, so we add b to the hash set we compare the size well the set dot size is one our max is three we do not do anything and since we added to the hash set we need to widen up the window and as you can see we are finished now we can say that the length of the longest substring without repeating characters is three and that's it okay so this is the whole problem now let's go to the code and code the solution out we will do exactly the same thing we did here okay so now let's try to code the solution out we said we need a hash set and our hash set will contain characters since it will have the um, substring that is inside the window, right? And we said we are using sliding window, which means we need a left pointer and a right pointer. And finally, we need the variable to hold the length of the longest substring without repeating characters. So let's put that in. Here is the hash set. It will have characters and here's the left pointer right pointer and the variable that will have the um, length of the longest substring. Now, we will have a while loop. We will keep looping until the right side of the window reaches the end. So we will have the right side of the window is less than s dot length. Um, we will keep looping. And now what? Well, let's see. Now we are at the A. Okay. Now we said we need to ask, hey, does our A appear in the hash set? If the answer is no, we need to add it, compare the length and widen up the window. Or in other words, we will say, hey, if, okay, if the set does not contain the, our string at char at what? Well, the right side of the window. Or if our hash set does not contain this A, if our hash set does not contain the character that the right pointer is pointing to, we need to do what? We need to add it to the hash set. So we can say set dot add this one s dot char at R. So let's add it. And we said, okay, we need to compare the length. And we said here is the formula. We said our answer well here we have it max so let's change the name to max to match the um you know blackboard we said max equal 
math.max we need to take the maximum between two things our maximum so far and the size of the hash set well now we have an a inside the hash set so the size would be one or we can say set dot size and yeah and finally we need to widen up the window so now we can say um right side plus plus or r plus plus here's the first step right okay so now the b okay we don't have a b in the hash set so we add the b to the hash set we compare the size the size should be two now we widen up we have the c let's add the c the length is three now we widen up and now we have this a we ask okay s dot char at r is a if the set does not contain a which is false we have an a what should we do well we said we need to remove the character from the hash set that the left pointer is pointing to in this case we need to remove the a so now let's remove the a else set dot remove we need to remove what well s dot char at the left um, side of the window right and now what well we need to shrink the window this will go from here to here so now l plus plus and that's it at the end we just return our max basically okay so let's run the code and let's submit here we go so now let's look at the time and space complexity starting with the space complexity we see that we are using a hash set let's say our string is a b c all the characters are unique which means our hash set will store all those characters assuming we have n characters in the string the space complexity is big o of n so now let's look at the time complexity let's say our string has basically a a a now we said we will be using sliding window right so we have a left side and a right side now we see that when we start okay we have the left side we have the right side and our hash set is empty so we will have this a in the hash set now when we widen up okay we have this a we say do we have a in the hash set we say yes which means we remove this a we said okay then we shrink down the window so this a we visited this a twice now now we add this a okay now we widen up the window do we have an a in the hash set the answer is yes so we remove this a we shrink down the window and as you can see this a is visited twice then we have we add the a so in this case in the worst case each character will be visited twice which means the time complexity is big o of 2n assuming we have n characters in the string and this of course equals big o of and I hope you guys enjoyed the video, best of luck to you and I will see you on the next one.